Um, denial of service attacks. A denial of service attack is basically uh, the bad guys will aim a giant flood of traffic at a website. Like historically, you know, way back when I was at eBay, we used to get attacked by denial of service attacks. Sometimes it was just troublemakers trying to see if they could knock a website off the internet. Other times it was economically motivated. But we had a couple of times and I had to work on cases where we got knocked off the internet. And if eBay got knocked off the internet, it created massive headaches. Think about any auction that was scheduled to finish during the hour that you were knocked off the internet. What happened to that auction? Did it automatically end or do you add another hour on? What about all the people who are watching the auction? So denial of service attacks have been a painful thing in my life for 20 years now. And um, and my company is, I think, the best in the world at stopping denial of service attacks. That's where Cloudflare kind of built its reputation. Um, and so we are the best in the world at stopping denial of service attacks. And I'd say about a year ago, I thought like that's become a commoditized product. It's not uh, a glamorous product. And, and you know, we you can just deploy Cloudflare and your denial of service attack goes away. And other companies that come along are getting good at blocking denial of service attacks as well. But most of the denial of service attacks historically were targeting websites. You know, so like if you're a company, you go online and you would set up like eBay, you would set up your online storefront, the presence that people come to the website. And so that's where the attacks would be. But you also had a back end servers and stuff for your employees to work and have productivity, you know, your enterprise systems that are not customer facing. Um, well, the bad guys started thinking in 2020, well, you know, like everybody has really good security on the front of their website. And those, so the denial of service tax for ransom on websites isn't really working. But you know what every company really cares about right now? Their enterprise systems because their employees are all at home. And so in the last six months, the last three months in particular, we've seen a large number of attacks, of denial of service tax targeting the enterprise infrastructure. Because if you can disrupt the, because it used to be if you disrupted the enterprise infrastructure, it didn't matter. The employees were all in the building. They could still talk to each other. They could get work done at their desks. They could go in conference rooms together and meet. Um, with everybody remote, these denial of service attacks against your enterprise infrastructure can be really debilitating. And so that's the, when we talk about the evolution of quote unquote ransom on the internet, that's the new thing. And in the last few months, we've seen not just like small businesses, but like some of the largest institutions and financial services getting hit with these attacks and they need to keep their employees online. And so we're, we're onboarding a whole new class of, of customers with a different product that we call Magic Transit that helps secure that kind of enterprise infrastructure. So it's, yeah, you just, I've had a front row seat on the evolution of crime yeah. on the internet and, yeah. and, and ransomware for sure. Yeah. Okay.